Let's talk about Japan. I had a fantastic time in Tokyo. I flew in by myself. I rented an Airbnb.、Um, I got there. I got to my place at about four in the morning, so I was extremely, extremely exhausted the whole time, but I had a blast nonetheless.、Um, I started off my place, I was staying in a place called、uh, Misa Minju, I believe.、Um, it's like northeast of Tokyo and very near to pretty much everything a tourist would want to see.、Uh, so I got there, went to sleep, and when I woke up about maybe four hours later, Uh, I went off to Shibuya. Of my, no, not Shibuya. Akihabara. Akihabara was my first place. I stopped by there just because I heard about all the famous tech stores and whatnot, and I wanted to get a look at everything. I went to a very popular fast food place called Coco Curry, and they'd serve some of the best darn curry you'd ever eat, I'd say. I had some. Curry with、uh, tonkatsu on top of it, a pork cutlet. It was really delicious and some of the best tonkatsu I've ever had so far. So I went to, I went there and then I visited、uh, Akiba, this giant tech store. Walked around. there was, It was a tech nerd's paradise, basically. I really thought it was amazing.、Um, shortly after, I didn't stay long because I wasn't trying to spend any money. I went off to Shibuya,、uh, one of the most Famous places in Tokyo, if you've ever heard of it. I went to Shibuya Crossing. There、uh, is the Hachiko statue、uh, and the crossing itself, of course. I made sure to walk along that path just to make sure I experienced that. Moving along, I went north of Shibuya、uh, and I visited the Meiji Jingu Shrine, I believe it's called.、Um, I don't personally know the history or the significance of this place, but I did know just based on experience playing Persona,、uh, you can make、uh, donations, cash donations to a box there and pay respects to someone. I don't know all the details, but I, I made sure to pay my respects while I was there. Afterwards, I visited a place I was really looking forward to called Cookie Time. Now, Cookie Time. Is just a dessert restaurant full of cookies, ice cream, milkshakes, that type of stuff. And if you're a cookie monster like me, this place is heaven.、Um, I went there twice actually and spent quite a bit of money.、Um, the first time I went there, I got the vanilla and chocolate cookie shake, which was really delicious, one of the best milkshakes I've ever had. And the second time I went, I got the mini cookie dough sandwich. And then the last thing I got was the Har- Harujuku.、Uh, Freak shake. They had a whole menu full of items, including milkshakes and freak shakes, respectively, like two different types of milkshakes. And the freak shakes had some pretty crazy designs, but they were awesome. Then I went off to Mega Tokyo. There was a,、um, a mall called the Sunshine City. Really huge mall. I got lost in there for a little while, but I, when I finally made it, I found the Pokemon Center. And that place was crowded. It, it was insane how many people there were in there. There was a line wrapping throughout the store just to purchase stuff. And I did end up buying a few things myself while I was in there.、Um, but I loved it. I love Pokemon. They had all sorts of Pokemon dolls, and,、um, accessories, anything a Pokemon fan would like. And then after that, I took a trip.、Um, can't remember what city it was called, but I wanted to try some ramen, some OG ramen, Chuka Soba ramen.、Um, and I was not disappointed. It was some of the most delicious noodles I had ever had. Next, the following day, I was trying to wrap up my trip. So I visited the Sky Tree first. I didn't have any money to go inside.、Uh, so I just. Stood on the outside, it was really tall, like, and I can imagine the view of Tokyo must have been really amazing if you were in there.、Um, I'll, if I go back to Japan, I do want to go inside there.、Uh, then there was a place I'd heard that served a special、uh, sukumen ramen, which is the ramen that you dip into a sauce and then eat the noodles.、Um, I had heard from Eat Your Kimchi, if you're familiar with them, they Went there and tried one of their specials, which was a chocolate ramen. But I went there not realizing that it was only a seasonal thing that was available for Valentine's Day. But I was not disappointed by this, the regular sukumen either. The meat 
for this ramen legitimately melts in your mouth and it was some of the best meat I had ever tasted and I I would go back to Japan just for that and last place I had to visit during my trip I had to make a stop to the Dominique Ansel bakery uh, if you haven't heard of it uh, Dominique Ansel bakery is one of two locations one in Tokyo and one in New York City it was rated the world's best pastry chef pastry bakery whatever in 2017 and I had to take this opportunity to go there and I had to rush I barely made it just before it was closing because um, it closed at 7 and I got there at like maybe 6 45 ish but uh, and I didn't have much money left for my trip either so as much as I wanted to try their watermelon I just decided to stick with their frozen s'more the frozen s'more they took they take chocolate and some ice cream put it on the inside make it surround it with a square of marshmallow and just roast it and outside is all warm and gooey marshmallowy but the inside is cold and sweet and chocolatey it was so delicious I would love to go back and try the rest of the items they have because it's it's just some unique stuff that you don't usually see everywhere else um, but yeah overall I enjoyed my trip to Tokyo I want to go back uh, <laughs> not sure when but I would want to go back to Japan maybe this next time visit Kyoto or something but overall it was a great time I enjoyed it and I uh, highly recommend if you ever wanted to go there so well, that's it for my vlog I hope you enjoyed uh, have a good time thank you Thank you.